Hey guys, it's Matt Frazier of the Psychic Medium and I am live with you. Oh my God, I don't know if you saw the video that I just uploaded, but today's online group reading was absolutely, I mean, I don't even know, spine tingling is the word I could have used. And it's crazy because being a medium, I never know what I'm going to see or what the spirits are going to show me. And today, by far, I had the most spine tingling reading that I think I've ever done. I'm not sure if you guys saw the video. If you haven't seen it, I'm going to play it in just a few minutes. And this is what's crazy, okay, is when you come to a medium, you know, you might be looking to contact with, to make contact with your loved ones on the other side. But what's really crazy is that your loved ones on the other side are actually trying to make contact with you through me. And it's crazy because today, the moment that the online group reading started, of course, you know, all different family members of the air, and I was reconnecting one family member after another after another. And then there was a soul that would not leave me alone. And she kept telling me I was killed, I was killed, I was killed. And she would not leave me alone until I tracked down her family. And it was crazy because she kept whispering in, in my ear saying that she was trying to reach her family. She had to give them clarity over what had actually happened the day that she died. And it was crazy because immediately I saw her soul lead me over to her family. And I had to deliver this message, although I didn't know what she was going to show me. You know, that's what's crazy as a medium is that there's not many things I haven't seen as a medium, but this was one of those readings where I've never seen anything like it. I mean, it le I, still like for the past hour or so, I've just been trying to like digress and like just get over some of the images that I saw because. You know, sometimes you'll do a reading and it stays with you. And the reason why is because, you know, even though as I'm a medium and I see things, you know, sometimes there's things that happen in life that are just, they, they just should never happen, you know? And, and this, it's, this was just a freak accident that had happened here in this world. It was like wrong on so many different levels. And I just pray to God that this family found hope and peace and, Thank God. All I can say is thank God for online group readings, because if it wasn't for this online group reading, there was no way that this, that this, I want to call a little girl, even though she was a lot older, you know, this girl would have been able to reach her family. So, you know, when people ask me, Matt, why is it that you put so much heart and soul into what you do? Why is it that, you know, you work so hard? You know, it's because of the fact that, you know, seeing videos like this, I'm going to show you what happened today in just a few minutes. You know, seeing families get peace and closure at the end of the day is something that I thrive off of. You know, I hope that one day I'm able to give each one of you a reading. I'm hoping that, that you know, literally I'm able to meet every single one of you, whether it be in person, whether it be online, whether it be on the street, you know, and I'm hoping that I'm able to help you reconnect with someone that you love. Because so many times when we lose a loved one, there's so much hurt, there's so much pain, there's so many things that we're left with. And many times, oh, thank you so much. Karen says, I love your gift. Thank you so much. And Jonette saying, I hope you had a happy Thanksgiving. You guys are so good. You know, I, I got to tell you guys something. You know, the other part of it is, is that, you know, I want to be able for you to see that your loved ones are okay. And, and you know, the one thing that I hope at the end of the day is that every day I have the peace and comfort of knowing that my loved ones are with me. I sense them. I feel them. I get signs from them. I get direct messages from them. I get dreams of them. And that's why, you know, I love what I do so much is that I want you guys to have that same validation of knowing that your loved ones are there, of knowing that your loved ones are with you and knowing that your loved ones are truly by your side. So I'm about to play this video. If you haven't seen them, okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show you this video. It just happened to, at today's online reading. And this is why if you haven't signed up for an online group reading, you got to make sure that you're there. And here's the reason why. It's only $19 to attend. And I did it for a reason. I made the online readings only $19 because the saddest thing is, is that when somebody comes to me and say and says, Matt, I, I can't afford to attend a reading. Well, what I can tell you is that that's the reason why I've kept the price at $19 for one reason. Even with inflation, it's because my goal is to read as many of you as possible. But I can't read you unless you attend an online group reading. So what happened with this family is they attended right after, right? I guess they attended my show in Houston, didn't get a message. I know that they didn't get a message because their daughter must have just passed away. And sometimes it takes a little bit of time for their loved ones to come through. But anyways, they didn't get a message at the live show in, in Houston, but they tried again. They attended the, today's online group reading and something amazing happened. Their daughter and spirit showed up and their daughter had come to me. And I got to tell you guys, sometimes these readings stick with me because I see things that are really tough to see. 
You know, as a medium, when the spirits come through, they'll show me very graphic things. They'll show me exactly how they had died, what had happened beforehand, what went on through their head before their passing. You know, and it's all for one reason. It's to give their family closure. So sometimes the only time that they can actually show me, the, the only time that they'll actually show me those specific details is when they have to bring something through. <sighs> well, during this reading, <clears throat> sorry, I can, I, I, can tell, I can feel it like right here. It's like this reading just touched me in, in, in so many ways. I mean, it, it, I just have to play the video. I'm going to play the video. I'm going to show you what happened. I was actually reading for somebody else when this spirit came through and grabbed my attention. And I had to end that other reading early to get to the soul. You guys ready? Here's what happened. This all happened just a few moments ago. Take a look. Was there somebody who was killed or murdered? We're going to go right to them. My, my daughter? My sister, she passed away with her best friend in a car accident. They're here. <laughs> when I'm connecting, I kept hearing I was killed. Was there another vehicle involved in this passing? Yes, yes. he was a drunk driver. That would be why. They were like three minutes away from home. She kept saying to me, I, she kept saying to me, Matt, I was killed. I was killed. And she keeps saying to me that she tried to swerve to avoid this person because I kept seeing tire marks in the street when I'm connecting. And she says to me, Matt, I can't believe this happened. I can't believe this happened. She's here. Yes. Her best friend, Ivan was the one driving. That was her best friend. And she was a passenger. She tells me they, whatever, whoever was driving, I don't know who it is, but she showed me tire marks on the ground, which shows me they tried to swerve or tried to get away from this, 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 um, uh, driver. Cause the car spun completely around. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> and that's the reason why the car spun around. Cause she shows me, she's showing me when I'm connecting. It spun around because, because they said that, okay, because the, the guy that hit him, he was a drunk driver, but the reason that the car lost control was because they said that the tire blew out. I believe here's what I, I'm going to tell you what happened. Cause I see okay. it. Okay. I'm, I'm, they're showing me them being in the car and I kept hearing, I believe it was your sister that said, watch out. Cause I keep hearing saying someone watch out. And I saw the, them go, I saw the wheel go like this and then. That's what ended up happening. I see the car spinning out of control. Because they were coming, they were coming, it's two lanes, and they were coming this way, and they said that they had a blowout, so I guess the car lost control and went to the lane where the cars are coming the other way, and that's where that drunk driver was coming. Whatever it was, all I know is that they, I see them spinning the wheel, and I see the, the car, The that explains it to me, because I kept seeing it go like this, and, she, and your sister says to me, we saw it coming. She says, we tried. She, whoever was driving, I will tell you, it was not their fault. I will tell you that they tried very hard. I see the steering wheel going like this. So Wait, that, who, who's, whose fault was it not? Whose fault? Just told you, it wasn't well, their fault. It wasn't my sister and them's fault? It was that car? It was I, the... Listen, there was a, this, is, this is the tough part. There was several factors in this when I'm connecting. There was the factor of that drunk driver. There's the factor of, of that tire blowing out. And there's a factor of the, of the car losing control. Yeah, because the roads were a little wet, I think. I got to tell you, it doesn't matter if the roads were wet or not. It has to do with the fact that was everything done with your sister trying to keep, meaning was that friend, did that friend just sit there and do nothing? Or was he trying to avoid an accident? Yeah. And what your sister's telling me is I see a wheel going like this. He was turning every other way, trying to avoid this accident from happening. And the fact that, <laughs> That driver was drunk and hit them. It was just the perfect storm because I keep hearing them saying that it was never supposed to be like this. No, it wasn't. They were they were three minutes from home. So please know that Are your sister is your sister's telling you and letting you all know one thing. She says to me, Matt, we tried to avoid the accident. She says, and when this happened, I your sister, I'm I'm sorry to tell you, but your sister knew this was coming. She <gasps> says, but I didn't, she goes, I didn't feel a thing. Oh my God. All I remember was yelling that she says, I, I, I said, watch out. And she says, she remembers actually throwing her hands up. So she threw her hands up like this. She tells me. And then next thing you know, she says that she just passed. Oh my God. I didn't feel anything. I miss, miss her. Miss her so much. I love her. She says to me this, she wants you all to know one thing. She wants to thank you for, for holding, for bringing her picture around. She tells me that you all have pictures of her that you bring around. And she actually tells me that she's on all of your phones. She talks about being on like the lock screen of your phone or being on yeah. the, the wallpaper on the phone. 
perfect. Because she says to me, Matt, they look at me and they all have me on the phones and they have different pictures of me that they change in and out. And she also says to me that one of the things that she wants to thank you for is also for the voicemails that you have of hers that you listen to because you have her on the voice on, on the yes, on we always listen to videos of her because we just oh my god because she says to me she hears you listening to her voice yeah she says to me something else she says matt she goes i let i need my family to know one thing she says this was an accident <laughs> she says that even though that person okay that person was drunk she says to me i'm not sure this is what she tells me. She goes, I'm not sure that anything. She goes, did, did he kill us? Yes. She says, but what am I sure? She goes, am, can I be 100% sure? She says that this wouldn't have happened if somebody else was driving. She goes, I'm not sure. She tells me. It was a accident. It was, it was the, this is the weirdest thing that I've seen as a medium in my, in all of my years of doing this. But your sister tells me one thing. She says that man should not have been on the road. And that's what's so tough. That, what did she say? That what? She's not supposed to be in the road. That she shouldn't have been on the road. The man. Oh, okay. Okay. Are you? Are you? How come you can't hear me, but they can hear me? <laughs> yeah. She says to me this. She says, Matt. She says, I want my family to know. Thank you for every single thing that they've done for me. <laughs> she says, and Matt. She says, I want you. She goes, I want my family to know one thing. She says, they were always the best to me here in this world. We had such a close relationship with one another. She says, and I want to thank them for honoring me at every holiday, at every celebration. And she's oh. always telling me, I have to say, thank you for the place setting. Because I saw there was a place setting that was put out for her. <laughs> yes. Yes. Uh, yeah, she, her table. We have her table. Oh, you have the place setting right there. Oh, my God. Yeah. <laughs> no, she's everywhere but right there know, it's like i didn't know what she meant by that she kept saying to me about a place thing and the table being all done for her and she goes i can't believe they did this for me she says so matt she says i want to let my family know one thing you always say she's my angel she's my angel and you yes. keep saying that she's the angel she says i'm there and i'm with you and she wants to thank you for the jewelry that you made a memory of her as well <laughs> yeah we have some little jewelries we've got some photos of her on there she says to me listen when you go and you made that beautiful table for her she says immediately in heaven she says i knew how much you all loved me <laughs> she says, more importantly she says i want you to know one thing my spirit is okay my spirit is fine she says so don't for one minute think about what you saw in that accident because she says to me there's one thing that she wishes that you never saw she wishes that you didn't see that car. Yes. Because she says to me that you all went and saw the car that she passed in. She says in that, she goes, I wish they didn't do that because she says, that's what they think of, of in their head. She says, yeah. and that's not me. She says, I want them to know that in heaven, she says, I am fine. She says, <laughs> scratch on me. She shows me her dancing. She shows me her singing. She shows me her doing all of these things. Oh my God. <laughs> she says, so Matt, please let them know that I am fine. Oh my <laughs> God. That this was just an accident. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and that every day that goes by, my spirit and soul is there and with them. Yes. <laughs> so I'm here. She says, and, and, and are you her mom? Because she keeps talking about her mom. Yes, yeah, I am. She says to me, mom, she says, you taught me all about heaven in the afterlife. You taught me that there was God. You taught me that there was a heaven. And she says to me, she says, every, she says, thank you for all the prayers and the candles that you light for me. Oh <laughs> my God, mom. She keeps, she keeps telling me she's with Papa. She's with Papa. So was that my, my, my great grandpa, my grandmother's dad. She says, to, she says to me, she's with him, that she, that they're together on the other side. She says, and Matt, she says, please let my family know I will always be with them. Oh, tell her we love her and we miss her. She hears you. You already do. I love you, Valerie. She says to me, and thank you for holding on to my clothes, she says to me. Because she, oh, yes. she, yeah. she says, I just want this to be one thing. She says, my mom said that if I could just hold, if I could just hear from my daughter one, one more time, she says, I, I knew, if I just knew without a doubt that she was okay, she says, I'd be able to live my life. I just want to know she's at peace. Your daughter's here today to tell you she is. Yeah. She says, my mom always said, I will never let anything separate this family. I will never let anything separate our family or come between our love. And yeah. your, 
your daughter wants to let you know this. She says, mom, celebrate every holiday, enjoy every day. She says, because our love is what's keeping us connected. She says, and one day, hopefully not for many, many years, you will see your daughter again. Oh, mom. <laughs> so she says, continue to pray, continue to do all these things and know that I'm there. All right. Thank Was you. It, is this your first time attending? Uh, we went, uh, we attended your live concert in Houston, the one you just recently had. The concert? You mean the event? Yeah, the <laughs> event. The event. Sorry. I, I never heard someone call it a concert before. <laughs> your, your sister says to me this. She says, I want to let you know, Matt, she says that I had to go and reach them. So even though you didn't hear a message in Houston, that it was only because your sister had just recently passed, probably. But yeah. she's that she's been trying to reach you since her passing so even though you didn't you didn't hear a message in person please know she was here today and that's what's so important we've we've seen a lot of signs because her she has she had some christmas lights in her room and when she passed away half of them turned off and then they come on and they turn off and it's it's weird they're her lights and she always had those lights on but when she passed Tell them about half words. of them started turning oh, off and on it's it's weird we just know it's her but it's just one of those things you can't you know what i mean well listen you know? this, is all needed, this is all you needed for validation and your sister i want to thank her because she did an amazing job of coming through and i hope i hope <laughs> that this brings you some comfort today yes i know it doesn't fix everything but no. i i want you to know without a doubt that she's always here and with you and without you being here today at this online group reading, there's no way that she would, there's no other way that she would have been able to come through and reach you, you know, with a direct <laughs> message other than through signs. So I want to thank you guys for trusting me for being here. And I, like I said, I really hope that this brings you some peace and comfort. That, I mean, I don't even know what to say. I got to tell you guys, I really am just sending so much love onto that family that just completely, completely I mean, touch my heart. I mean, it's amazing how spirit can validate so much. I mean, one validation after the other, after the other. I mean, it was clear that this girl wanted the family to know without a doubt, without a doubt, she was there. I mean, talking about the lock screen on the phone, the place settings that they had at the table, that a special table just for her. The fact that she talked about what actually happened at the accident, about what happened, about, you know, the moment that she went to the other side. I mean, it just shows how much our loved ones try to reach us here in this world. So I, I just, you know, it's, it's times like this that it's just, it's just amazing. I mean, how can you not doubt that there's another side? How can you, how can you, you know, without a doubt, I mean, you can see that there is an afterlife. I mean, I got to tell you guys, it's just incredible. And I know that this reading is going to help so many people to heal and what I also want you guys to know is that I really hope that you will join me at the next online reading. So that being said, you know, if you haven't joined yet, this happened just today. This, could be, and you know, it's, it's funny because people ask me all the time, Matt, how do I get a reading from you? How do I connect with you? This family did just that. All you have to do is go online, buy a $19 ticket. I kept it $19 for one reason. So nobody, so, so nobody has the excuse of not being able to afford it. It is affordable to everybody. And you just attend. That's all you have to do. It's all through Zoom. It's a video reading. This this family, if they didn't if they didn't attend here today, their daughter would have never been able to speak this message to them. So that being said, I wanted to give you a little insight of what an online group reading is like because I know that there are many of you who you know are a little bit leery of it, who won't attend, whatever it is. But the thing is, is that that is the saddest thing. The saddest thing is when somebody doesn't attend because. Literally, what happens is, is when you're not there, there's no way for your loved ones to be able to reach you. So, well, besides signs, that is, but I'm saying through me. So that being said, I really hope, I really hope you can make the next one. Um, what I want you guys to know is that November is sold out, December is sold out, and there's only two online readings left for January. So that being said, if you're seeing this message at this moment, I hope this is a sign to you. If you felt something during that reading, if you would like to connect with someone that you love, if you'd like to be part of an online reading just like that one, you got to head on over to my website, meetmattfraser.com, click on live events and sign up for the next online reading. It's only $19 to attend, but you got to do it before we sell out. I can only allow a limited amount of people per online reading event. And what I want you guys to know is that we are all most sold out. It's absolutely incredible. I don't know if you guys can see this right now, okay? But if you look, 
Literally, take a look at this. You're not even going to believe this. Hold on one second. Let me see if I can show you. Hold on. Can you guys... Hold on one second. If you... Let me see. Hold on. What the hell is this right now? Oh, it won't let me... I don't think it will let me... Can I show you this? Let me see. No, it won't let me show you. But anyway, I was going to show you all the dates. Everything is sold out. There's only three online readings left in January. So you got to head on over to my website while there's still time. Here it is, meetmattfraser.com. And like I said, my main goal is to get to as many people as possible. I've already read over a thousand people during these online readings alone. And I really hope that you're next. So when the time is right, I promise you, your loved one will come through. And I really hope that I'm that person that is able to deliver that message to you. Because like I said, these readings each week, deliver so much healing. And the saddest thing is when somebody doesn't reserve a spot and they miss out on hearing from that loved one. So I know that during the holiday time, this is the time when your loved ones are the absolute strongest, the same way that you're trying to get in touch with them. This is proof and validation. They're also trying to get in touch with you. And I hope that one day I'm that person that delivers that message to you. So there's only three dates left. I hope to see you online. Meetmattfraser.com. I also left the link in the comments as well. Do you guys see it? This way you can see where you can go. And I really hope to um, meet you. And I want to share that reading with you. The video will be up on my on my Facebook page. But like I said, this is just one of many. You know, every Monday, don't forget, I post a brand new um, a brand new video on Facebook and on YouTube. But this was one that just couldn't wait. So I wanted to share this with all of you because I know that you're thinking of your loved ones during this time. And I hope to see you with the next online reading. The next one is January 17th. I think it actually, I think it just sold out. Let me see. Did it sell out? I think we can only allow a limited amount of people. I think January 17th just sold out, guys. There's only one online reading left. It's January 31st. So if you'd like to, if, if there's still spots available, you can head on over to my website, meetmattfraser.com. Just click on live events. I'm going to hang up so you can go and do that before somebody books that last spot. And I'm so excited to see how many of you will be there because when you're there, your loved ones in spirit are there as well. So I will see you online. I also want you to know that you can come and meet me in person. I'm giving live readings in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, Newark, New Jersey, and also in Rutland, Vermont, and in Massachusetts. Those dates are up on my website as well. Um, so whether I see you in person or online, remember one thing. Your loved ones are always with you. I'll see you soon.